New developments for the Lakeside Point at Nora Apartments. The state is considering a takeover. Fox 59 has been investigating hard conditions at the complex for years now. Here's an example. These photos taken inside Lakeside Point at Nora show some of the worst conditions. We need to make sure we're really taking this seriously before something tragic happens. Tax board members called the conditions here at Lakeside Point at Nora Apartments appalling. And those reports are just from the last five months. We found poor living conditions, health code violations, and fire dangers going back to 2019. This week, we found that the complex's owners owe more than a million dollars to Citizens Energy, despite water and sewer charges being included in monthly rent. Fox 59's Joe Glavin found out what could happen next and what it means for the people who live there. So let's, where did all our money go? Residents of Lakeside Point at Nora woke up Monday morning to this notice placed on their doors by the Marion County Health Department. It warned the Citizens Energy Group may be shutting off water service to your complex and offered a list of resources. So everybody was mad, upset. There was people up there almost crying. This resident who asked us to hide their identity said they heard mixed messages from managers and were confused because this portion of their lease notes that water and sewer are management's responsibility. In a statement, a Citizens Energy spokesperson told us they did give notice that utilities could be shut off for non-payment August 2nd. Tuesday, the complex's regional manager sent a statement saying, we have come to a settlement through negotiations so water will not be disconnected on our properties. Immediate action needs to be taken. Claire Holba with Patchwork Indy has long advocated for change at this complex, where multiple recent fires are just the latest in a long list of concerns. I would like residents to know um, that that leadership is working to prevent um, a water shutdown, that you have support. State legislators for the area, including State Senator Fadi Kadura, sent this letter to the Attorney General's office, requesting that the state file a court case to remove current ownership and place the complex under receivership in order to find a new owner. If they can't fulfill their legal obligations under the law, then the only other solution is to transfer the ownership to someone else who's more responsible, who deeply cares about our citizens. It's a whole different atmosphere than it was like two days ago. Just from that note, like you drive around and you see everybody is everybody's stressed out. It's just stressful. Leaders told me they hope to see the state take some kind of action in the coming weeks. On the north side, Joe Glavin, Fox 59 News. Jill, thank you. The attorney general's office confirmed late this afternoon that it is actively involved in this case and plans to help ensure the complex is cleaned up. Owner JPC Charities also owns six other Indianapolis apartment complexes. Legislators did not ask the state to intervene at those properties.